sitting here with Mayday. most of Mayday, Mayday Parade. Creed. Creed. Academy is. Creed. Academy. I just did them. Wouldn't worked otherwise. Uh, <laughs> would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Jake. I play drums in the band. I'm Derek. I sing. Uh, Brooks. I play guitar. I'm Alex, and I play guitar and sing. And over there is Jeremy. I'm too far away to be in the interview, but that's okay. I'll chill. And you? I play bass. There you go. All right, so you guys have been a band now for four years. Four years, mm -hmm. and right now you're on the AP tour. Is this the first time you guys have ever been on this tour? It is. Yeah. AP tour. Yeah. How are you liking it? It's awesome. It's great. It's been a really good tour. The, especially the East Coast has been really cool. Yeah. yeah. It's almost done now. It's so good. Yeah, it's been last week, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It hasn't been as cold up here in the north as I thought, as I thought it was going to be towards the end where we're at now. It was actually colder in the northwest where we were earlier. That was that was interesting. The northwest is a little dead, yeah. but the rest of the market's been really good. Yeah. Now, you guys are out of Florida. Tallahassee, Florida. Okay. Now, where does the name Mayday Parade come from? Really, it's just the name. Um, Jake wanted to use the uh, like, like the word Mayday. I wanted him to use it or something. And then I think maybe Alex was like, "Well, Mayday Parade." Yeah, we'll we, we, we liked it, so decided to use it. You get a name or something. This was at the beginning, whenever we had written a few songs but didn't have a name yet, so we just kind of picked some Mayday Parade. Okay. What's the biggest fan interaction you guys have had in the past? Sometimes, sometimes they kind of they kind of get real, you know, overwhelmed, and kind of freak out. But a lot, not, of, a lot of times they're, they, you know, they. Cool and they're really cool, and yeah, like they'll 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 tell you how your music has affected them, or like kind of help them through like really hard times, or like things like that. And um, that for sure, you know, means a lot. You know, and like makes it very real, like what what we do. You know, because we like sit here in the bus, you know. And, <clears throat> but then whenever you like meet somebody and they tell you like, hey, your music like literally saved my life kind of like, like, okay, wow, that, that's why I do this, and that's why it's kind of like, very, it's very gratifying to hear that. If you guys can look back in the past of all the tours and all the shows you guys have done, what's the most memorable one? I mean, all of them in their own way are really, like, awesome and special, you know, but there's definitely, like, um, uh, there's, like, some of the, some of the older, like, the really older touring that we've done, whatever, it was just, like, we didn't have any crew or anything, like, it was just yes. the five of us, you know. There was something kind of like special about that too, you know what I mean? Where it's like real small shows, you're playing for maybe like 20 or 30 kids, maybe 50 kids at the most or something. And uh, just every night you'd go to like a house party with the rest of the bands and hang out and you go sleep in the van and drive to the next place. You know? like, <coughs> it's much harder to do it that way, but there's something about that that's a lot of fun. You know? A little more gratifying. A lot, a lot, yeah, a lot of really cool memories from that, you know. But like I said, like every single tour has been really awesome, like special in its own way, you know. So. Now, where's the farthest you guys have traveled to the show, uh, to play? Uh, we've done Japan and Australia, and we've done the UK, uh, and Belgium. So wow. that's uh, that's really Australia the was definitely the furthest. We've done Alaska. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you guys do? I mean, I know you guys are on the bus like twenty four seven basically. So what do you like? What entertains you? What video games? Um, yeah. Interviews. Uh, Radio perform like performances, sound checks, uh, kids. Yeah, what type of interview? Uh, what type of not a type of interviews? What type of games do you play? Like <coughs> PS3. Uh, we're, we're mad, avid fans of the Call, Nazi Call of Duty, Nazi Zombies. It's the, the best game in the world. I like to play a little bit of NCAA football, EA Sports. Yes. Yeah. We had been touring. Me and Derek, you know, previous to this band, you know, so right out of high school, that's what we did. You know, we tried to do. What band were you guys in previously? That band was Defining Moment, which not a lot of people would have known of. I mean, but we did tour up on the East Coast. We did that. So, how did you all meet? We were all friends. Yeah. I mean, Cabbage was also in their band. I'd gone to high school with him. And we had, you know, we had been in the band before you and the Defining Moment. And, and our old band had practiced with them in their, in their, warehouse, in their warehouse and everything. And we all like were friends, you know, like pretty close friends. And then I met in Jake's band at the time, practiced also in the same <coughs> warehouse kind of crowd that we would, that all of us would practice in. So I joined his band and then we were all friends and played shows together and respected each other's music and, you know, the music scene in school, yeah. 
yeah, uh, they, like at that time, t the music scene in Tallahassee was pretty tight, like tightly knit, you know. And we like all pretty much all the bands practiced at the same spot, so uh, you know everybody knew each other, and it was just kind of like, you know, we like me and Jake's band wanted to tour, but we or the other members of the band really had like a lot of ties, had a lot of like you know commitments in in the area, so they couldn't leave exactly, you know, just to go out on tour. And then in the funny moment, <clears throat> their band, some of their members weren't as, um, you know, just were, weren't really, like, hacking it, you know, like, weren't able to, like, you know, do exactly what they needed. So we just kind of, like, decided to take the best from both. Now, well, what song means most to you that you've ever done? And then what song is, like, the best feeling for you guys, like, that you enjoy the most playing live? Okay. I'd say... Uh, that we've ever done uh, the last something that meant anything on our EP is one of my favorites but as far as like playing live it's, it's, it's different every night like just certain parts move you and certain parts don't you know it depends on the night and the mood you're in and the kids or the reaction you get from them the feedback you you know for sure yeah for me it's uh, well one of them is the, is the last something that meant anything also from our EP it's one of them for sure um and then uh, on the new CD, as far as time I mean it, it's one of my favorites that we've ever written. I like that one a lot. Um, and uh, live, usually it's probably like Jamie all over, just because it, it gets a real like good crowd response and everyone gets real excited. And there's a lot of energy for it. Um, so Jamie all over is probably my favorite to play live. Yeah, uh, like I I don't really you know, do a lot of lyrical writing, so it's hard to say what really uh, means the most to me. I, I get it. I, I like connection, the feeling of, you know, you'd be the anchor a lot, and then as far as playing live, um, you know, on this tour especially, Jersey is my favorite, and it, it always changes, because it depends on where it is in the set, and just the reaction that all, from the crowd, you know, that all has part to do with where you put it in your set, Jersey and Snap for this tour. One minute drinking, <coughs> this is a song that I like from AP a whole bunch. I like to and Kids in Love from the new album and uh, to play live. I don't know, Jamie all over is awesome, Black Cat is awesome. Those songs just get a really good response and are really fun to play. Yeah. So now who wrote Miserable at best? Um, is that a combination or sort of. Uh, Jason wrote a lot of that one and I wrote some of that one too, but uh, a lot of that was, was me and Jason. Cause I mean, all of them, I'm sure, have to do with something, like, personal, but that one, I don't know, because it, like, slows down in the middle of the rest of it, which is, like, very different. Yes. I thought it was more personal, or, like, is there a backstory to, to each one? Uh, yeah, there, there, there is, but, um, for, for every song, I mean, in, in some cases, it's not always, like, a specific thing, but, uh, I guess with that one, yeah, like I said, a lot of that was written by, by Jason, um, so. Somebody Yes. Uh, are you still? No. Uh, he was dating a girl named Katie who we actually ended up marrying and they got divorced. But uh, okay. it's a long, complicated story. That's fine. You don't have to go into that much. I was just wondering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is each of your biggest influence? Um, do what you do. Uh, like as far as like a band or like... Um, um, I mean like growing up, each kid, I mean some kids were like, oh yeah, Elvis did it for me or... For me, it was Guns N' Roses, for sure. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of others in there, but I'd say that's a queen for me. <coughs> for me, it was a Green Day for me. For me, it, like, it was like, uh, like what got me into music was Oasis, and then Led Zeppelin got me really into guitar. And then I think, and then talking about it with everybody, it's, it's kind of funny, because Dashboard Confessional was probably the first band of, like, this genre that really got, that got me into like playing this type of music, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then from there, to the, the standards. You. When people think of Mayday Parade, what, whether it be now or in the future, whatever, what do you want people to, th when they hear Mayday Parade, what do you want them to think? Just good, emotional good songs that they can relate to, uh, or not, or the songs that they like and, you know, enjoy listening to, but, you know, I feel like it's, it's, it's pretty emotional stuff, and, uh, a lot of people like have a good connection with the songs and can relate to them. And that's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. It makes it personal. Um, yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for yeah, taking the time. Um, Thanks for having us.